on today's show, we're going to be talking about Colleen Rooney. Oh, so much. It gets messy. A little bit of drama and USA, Cuba. We were there. Boo. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the game review from Boo. Alexa. <laughs> so all this and more today on the Cool Again. the energy up on a wow. Tuesday. Woo! Got the studio going up. <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> Let's go. All right. <laughs> I forgot what that song was all of a sudden. That was a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was. It was popping, though. It was popping. So when Drake did the remix, it was over. Maybe, you know, Drake should have remixed the Cuban National thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, that's uh, maybe that's the next remix. Who knows? Ooh, any, a, a, anybody? Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you uh, for watching. My name is Christian Polanco. Yes, it is. And my name is Alexis Guerrero. All right. We Ooh. are your favorite stand-up comedians. By far. By, well, that's it. That, well, you know what? Sentence over. Well, period. <laughs> that. <laughs> Done. End. Fiend. <laughs> okay, Bill Burr. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm waiting for him at the top. <laughs> You know what I mean? When you get here, <laughs> let me know. Yeah. Did Bill Burr talk about soccer? <laughs> you ain't got nothing to watch. It's us. Uh, yes, uh, we are your favorite stand up comedians that host the funniest soccer show that you've ever watched or listened That's to. That's right. But it's not just that, Christian. It is not exclusively. Well, we that. look through the things that this show is. <laughs> the things. It's not just. It's many that. things. Many things. <laughs> The other thing besides the funniest soccer podcast oh, but also happens to be the gulliest soccer podcast. That's right. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, uh, so uh, you know, buckle up. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to get gully because we're going to talk about a snuff film we went to go see live in D.C. That's right. We did go to Audi Field. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I, I said they shouldn't have put that up on the big board. No, uh, you know? no. <laughs> they should have handed out. What was that movie that uh, Sandra Bullock was in? With the blind side? What was that blind side? That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, was the one where she was wearing the blindfold? Um, yeah, the bird box. Bird box, They yes. should have handed out those. It the should have been bird box merch day <laughs> <laughs> for all the fans. <laughs> My God. Yes, and if you didn't uh, get to witness it or see or watch it on television. Witness is a great Witness, term. I mean, you, you're <laughs> if you if you were there, you're an accomplice. Yeah, I know, yo, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you guys get tickets for Exhibit A? <laughs> <laughs> because Cuba did play against the U.S. men's national team, oh. uh, and it was Alexis's, uh, you know, and uh, my first time getting to see the Cuban national team in person. Yes. Uh, and I, yeah, it, it, we wish it probably would have gone a little bit better. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm glad USA won. I'm just saying, you know, at some point, you know, can we get a mercy rule? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you know? at one point, uh, Alexis was crying into a Cuban flag. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Me patria. <laughs> you know, it was it was difficult to watch, but yeah, uh, I think watching that game hurt more than my family having to leave the country during communism. I'm just going to say that. Okay. I'm just going to say, I don't know if it's 100% true. You know what? You know, <laughs> you know, it's, you know I mean? We had to balance be, the two. Yeah. Might be apples to uh, absolute torture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but who yeah. knows? I mean. Yeah. My mother went through a hard labor camp for two years, but she didn't have to watch a bunch of young men you know, lose. I, wi I wish I was in her shoes. Yeah, I know. I trade spots with me, Ma. <laughs> Take the pain from me, ma. <laughs> because, <laughs> because she's yes. going to hit me when she hears this. I want you to know that in my thirties, married doesn't matter. She will hit me when she hears this. Uh, yes, it was uh, a little difficult for the Cuban national team. They did lose seven to nothing, but yeah. they, they gave up six goals in the first half and only gave up one. In the second. So if we're counting by Cuban rules, which is you only count the second half, <laughs> maybe I, I'm making that up. We didn't lose that bad. It <laughs> wasn't that embarrassing. No, okay. No. <laughs> the <laughs> practice, 45, we the, did in the beginning. The scrimmage. Yeah, that was mad up cute. Up top was <laughs> yeah. kind of nice. It was like, okay, these yeah. guys are actually for real, for real. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my thing about the rope-a-dope. At some point, you have to spring <laughs> off the ropes. <laughs> you have to hit them hard. You we know, didn't do that. We just if took it. was it. another 45 minutes. <laughs> Bro, it might. I mean, it would have been. It might have been twelve to three. Yeah, so, that's know, not, <laughs> which is respectable. <laughs> no, but it was cool uh, being there, getting to sort of. Uh, we got to. I got to talk. We got to talk to a 
Cuban. Actually, we talked to Nelson. Yes, Nelson yes, the Cuban. Johnston, uh, yeah, which uh, well, the well, goalkeeper, the goalkeeper. Yeah, and that was a, a, a cool experience because a lot of the Cuban players didn't want to talk to anybody. Was no, it? they. I mean, yeah, I mean, who would want to talk to anybody after that? Exactly. Exa- you know how Cubans are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eso no pasó. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walk away, you pretend it never happened. You get yourself a little bit of a brandy dip with a cigar. You'd be all right. Exactly. Uh, but I mean. You know, heads were down. Also, there's not much they can really say. And a player had defected the day before. And, you know, reporters were being mad egregious and asking about it. It was. So that, and that was a thing. So if people do not know, this this is a common thing. Whenever Cuba plays in uh, in the U.S., really outside of Cuba, they they defect. Some, yeah. Usually usually one one to three players. Uh, you know, there's like, I think Vegas does like odds on it, right? Yeah, over-unders. <laughs> over-unders. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to defect? But one player did defect. It's, uh, a bunch of, it's a bunch of guys who train in running. I mean, if you're you're specifically built, okay, you know, you know is, what I mean. <laughs> this is like the the defection World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> mean, that's the reason why Cuba doesn't feel they stamina swimming team. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Them dudes are all in America. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, so that that so we went to the press conference uh, with the with the uh, the the manager uh, for yeah. Cuba, and there was oh, a, by the way new English, so you couldn't talk slick. You know what I mean? <laughs> he knew some yeah, English, no, but he had a really good grasp of english not enough to do the whole conference the whole yeah, press yeah. conference in english but he was there was a a certain the first question that right he, off the bat that he fielded was like yo where's your play at yeah, my man takes a 7-0 loss <laughs> goes in the locker room talks to a team of average age of 22 yeah and then sits down first chance he sits <laughs> down first question is yo what happened to the dude who, who left the team yesterday yeah, what, yeah, what, what you know about that uh, you might want to elaborate <laughs> and he's like y'all want to get me killed <laughs> Why don't y'all tweet about Hong Kong? <laughs> you know, it's a little bit more, <laughs> a little Damn. easier nowadays. Yeah, he was he was frustrated because obviously uh, because of the loss and uh, but he was uh, and the gun to his family's head back home. <laughs> yeah, is that he's what? not allowed to talk about he's it. Not, exactly, he was just like, yo, talk to me about the players that are here. Yeah. I don't know about Please. anybody else. Please stop mentioning that guy. <laughs> uh, but it was a, you know it, it was a weirdly. Um, it's, I don't know. I, even for me, it felt like kind of significant seeing a, a Caribbean nation go up against the U.S. And obviously, it is David against uh, Goliath. Yeah. And and but he 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 went up in that press conference and was and went in there confidently and said, "Hey, look, I'm playing with a bunch of kids, right? And yeah. and that is because all my players leave. He right? did what you expect a Cuban to do, which is blame the children. <laughs> it ain't me. They're young as hell. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> I'm a great coach. I'm a great coach. I'm a great coach. I'm a great coach. <laughs> no tiene la cabeza para eso. <laughs> but it was uh, it was the best a, player I had ran yesterday. <laughs> he took off. He's defected. It, it was a, sh- a a cool show of uh, of of some sort of uh, I don't know strength and confidence from the Caribbean nations because a lot of people complain about why are we playing like, for the, as far as the U.S. perspective like why are we playing in these nations games they're not important but for these Caribbean nations these opportunities this experience is huge. Yeah, uh, for where the else are they going to lose seven 0 You know what it, I mean? Like you got to play these games. <laughs> they're not going to lose seven 0 to Bermuda. No, they might to Curacao. <laughs> he seems to look in tight. <laughs> so it, it's a, but it was a, a cool thing, and it was an honor kind of to, it to was, be there. I, the fact that I got to speak to one of the Cuban national team players, it legit made me emotional. Like I'm like, oh my god, you know, like I just wanna, I wanna sit down and talk to you and find out what's going on in the island or whatever. And he was like, yo, I got a plane to catch. I was like, all right, we'll do your thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was quick. You know, <laughs> like, emotions aren't a real Cuban thing. You exactly, know? Exactly. We yeah. save it for weddings, quinceañeras. That's pretty much all we do. You know, <laughs> why are you crying, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, is your daughter getting married right now? <laughs> Tighten up, my dude. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more after this. Yeah, baby, we're back. Look. We covered USA destroying Cuba's hope for a future exactly. in soccer. But now let's get a gift. How about that? Huh? Exactly. A nice this, little gift. This is uh, at least an opportunity to cheer ourselves up after what we just That's saw. Right. And, th- and today happens to be the final day of Hispanic Heritage Month. Buddy, Alexis, we did it. We survived another one. We did it. <laughs> good. We can celebrate now. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we we and- could release the doves. What <laughs> happens at the end? <laughs> That's right. And, those, and our doves have neck tattoos. That's right. <laughs> and by the way, when we say release... We mean give them back the clothes.
clothes they came in with, <laughs> and they're back. <laughs> uh, but no, we got uh, 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 some some gifts as a as a as a show of appreciation for Hispanic Heritage Month. I think. I just, well, who knows? It's an unboxing. It's we an never unbo- know what's we don't in know there. what's inside. We never know what's inside. Why don't you open up yours first? Okay. It's a little smaller. Let's get this one going. All right. This is. I'll start this just in case there's like a note in here of some sort. Okay. All right. This says okay. Uh, okay, I know who this is from. This says, okay. This says, "Hello, Christian. Congratulations on the show. I wish you uh, much more success. Uh, your passion for the game will take you anywhere you set yourself to. Please accept this humble gift as it is our first soccer-inspired product. Uh, with the sale of every watch, so this is a watch. So with the sale of every watch, we donate soccer gear to kids in need. Any help you can provide to drive our mission forward would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we th- would love to help you wearing this watch." <laughs> So, uh, this is from uh, uh, Foot Love. Foot Love, the, oh, okay. the, 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 the watch uh, company. I've seen. Now, I don't wear watches. Why not? Because my, my grandfather always said, never show somebody else what they don't have. And when he passed away, he never wore a watch. So, in his honor, wow. I don't wear a watch. So on top of watches, it, it's also what? Like uh, vegetables. Aff- he said, don't <laughs> you dare. Don't show, don't show affection, yeah. care, yeah. or respect for any other human being. Emotion or for the people <laughs> who wear watches. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay. All right. You open that. Oh, I know what this is. All right. That's a, this Good. is the the box for uh, 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 Foot Love. Oh, oh look at, look at this. this. All right. Let me open this. While you open that. Oh, okay. Look at this. We, we were got- just tweeting about these guys. Oakland Roots, if you don't know, what size is this? This feels like it's, Whoa. Oh, it's a medium. <laughs> this is wild. It's just a watch. What do you mean it's No, wild? no, but it comes inside like a soccer ball. Oh, this- that's pretty cool. This is incredible. Well, you open that. I mean, here we go. Oakland Roots. If you don't know, this is a lower league team, <laughs> uh, NISL. Uh, dude, these guys are doing some incredible things. They have a video of their players just getting hyphy, hyphy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, just dancing to blow the whistle. I think that's it's how the th- most Oakland. Yeah, yeah. That's I think that's the trial for the players. They're, they're like, uh, they don't even check to see if they could dribble a ball or it's shoot. Like, dude, they're just I like, can't yo, play. can you? It's a dance competition. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, dude, I can't play soccer. It doesn't matter. You get lit on the dance floor. <laughs> so we know, oh. we know you got some skill. All right, look at this. This is incredible. Thank you so much, Oakland Roots. Thank you so much, Foot Love. Uh, this is dope. It's come, the watch comes inside of a like a leather sock, a leather bound soccer ball. Look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is so fu- fire. I feel like you could use that as like a like a like a toiletry case <laughs> after you're done with the watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Let me see the watch. I love how Alexis is always thinking about the toilet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and we know sometimes I'll just use my pants. You know? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well done. Thank you so much, Philo. This job. is uh, this is really cool. Appreciated very very much. I'm gonna let me see. I'll put this on. Let's see if I can get this on. Shout out uh, to Oakland Roots once again, dude. I can't wait to wear that hoodie. Yeah, the the uh, there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of clubs, a lot of teams like every, Forward Madison. Forward Ma- there's so many clubs in the lower league that are just doing wild, cool stuff. Exactly, and people are always c- sort of wondering like what. You know, be- because U.S. soccer, uh, you know, we don't have promotion relegation, but like, how, how is it can- th- that lower, you know, lower league clubs can they can stand out? And a lot of times, it's like the, by by having a unique be identity, a merch brand, be a mer- be a, well, <laughs> yeah, selling dope like gear, yeah. like wh- why not? Like why bug eaters can do it, Oakland Roots can do it. Why can't that be a part of like the the? Because you see like people in like England rocking Oakland Roots stuff. And also, wh- and and this is a hundred percent true. Okay. This is all fact. I'm not making this up. Premier League merch tends to be trash. Okay. All right. You're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna. It's true. Some shots fired. It, think about it. When was the last time you saw like a really dope hat or a really dope like? Sometimes the jackets, the warm up stuff. If you're willing to wear something a bit more athletic, yeah, it's cool. But just like lifestyle stuff, ain't that dope? I agree. It's okay. A, it's a, Oakland it, Roots has a much better merch game than Arsenal. Okay, that's a bold statement. Right? You're, you're an Arsenal supporter. And here's the thing. If you want to prove me wrong, just send it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's compare side to side. What well, right. I'm saying is I'll wear this Oakland Roots hoodie, and you send me your best, and then Christian 
will tell me during a fashion show, <laughs> which happens in between segments here, there's which no, one's better. Well, there's no reason why we can't have a, a cool against fashion show. There is absolutely no reason why we can't. Did you know I was the vice president of the modeling club in high school? Okay, let's break this <laughs> down because this one, first of all, this seems like a lie, okay? <laughs> 100% true. I will bring in my, my, what, my okay, yearbook. Okay, what were you modeling exactly? What is day to day? Day to day, what is. What is a meeting like at, for the, at the modeling club? Me and a bunch of hot ladies. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, it was me and like two other boys. And we were suggested that we join the modeling club because if they didn't have enough numbers, they wouldn't be able to do their show. Got so it. the girls were like, yo, it would be great if you joined. I was like, all right, let's do this. It was just me and a bunch of dope chicks. Yo, this is amazing. And then all of a sudden, they're like, who wants to run for vice president? I was like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I won. I won the election. Okay, dude. Yeah. By like a landslide. First election I won. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even try to like finagle my way to the top. Okay. And uh, so that as what we're doing. Here's my favorite part. Hold on. Okay. You know what the responsibilities are of the vice president of the modeling club? What? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> and honestly, I've never been more. More, more appropriately <laughs> positioned for something in my entire life. Okay. And then you 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 bought a bunch of clothes and you did a whole fashion show. Yeah. And that's when a, a bunch of cops. The, my friend was looking for his special shoes that he was gonna wear with his suit in uh in a uh, in his car. And the cops, the bunch of undercover cops, like. Oh! They thought we were dealing drugs. And they looked through the whole thing. And my fat ass had to explain to this cop, no, no, sir, I'm a model. I almost got shot. I almost got beat and shot. Because I said, no, officer, like, I'm a model. And thank God I had the tickets to the model show. And the cop was so angry. He's like, Hey, yo, Johnson, get over here. <laughs> You'll never believe it. These, these kids are models. Yeah. And they're like, even the fat one? <laughs> Apparently, he's the vice president. <laughs> yes, because I'm sure he was just, he was just like, you, you know that lying to an officer is a felony, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Impersonating a model might be a felony. <laughs> I just love that there were real drug dealers like a block away, like, get out of here, there's cops here. And they drove off with whatever it was these guys. I mean, I'm talking about like eight, nine caprices. Just, yeah, yeah. It was Man, wild. Dogs it's, everywhere. It's a, it's just incredible. You can't even be, uh, you know, an honest model <laughs> in know? Newark, New Jersey, yeah. without somebody <laughs> thinking that you're a criminal. How <laughs> dangerous is it to be a model in a city like Newark? Let me tell you, I almost died for the for the love of it. You know, it was yeah. the art. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now let's get to some drama. Let's all right? do it. Because uh, this happened uh, after we uh, filmed last week, but which we've we've constantly asked the soccer world, the world, the soccer, and adjacent. Yeah, if you're gonna have something that sounds like it might fit on Cooligans, yeah, could you mention it before we record on a Tuesday? <laughs> Is that possible? That'd be nice. Just you know, look look out look look out for us. I know right? this might have broke like. Minutes after we recorded, right? Yeah. So, but this was a a, a very strange, uh, you know, it, it hit its peak very quickly and then sort of disappeared. It, it sort of got like almost not resolved, but uh, you know, it, it just it reached this uh, peak of like how much mystery there was. And if you don't know, uh, if you didn't see this, uh, Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy, uh, wife wives of uh, Wags. Wayne <laughs> Wags of of Wayne Rooney and Jamie Vardy, two yeah. level headed. Regular old guys, you good know? old chaps. You know, here. they just like to have. They like to do their things in person, just conversation, <laughs> relax, sit down, with cardigan sweaters. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but the um, if you didn't see this, uh, uh, Colleen Rooney put out a uh, a tweet, uh, which is a, which was a screen cap of a note uh, that and she. And there it is. And you know this: when there's a screen cap of a note, you're either retiring or it's about to get hot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's never been like, hey, you know, I'm really good friends with my, my friend yeah. <laughs> Rebecca Vardy. It's never anything just no, positive. I just want to say I love Rebecca Vardy. <laughs> Everything's smooth. No, no, because it doesn't fit in the tweet. 
No. So it has to be it has to be in, in, in uh, the longer format. But she basically is saying uh, that th- there were there were stories that were getting leaked to the tabloids. Yeah. And Colin Rooney didn't understand where, where it could exactly, they be coming from? Who it's coming from inside the house? It was yeah. one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and Colleen Rooney did a, a the the a piece of de- a detective work that we've never. I, I didn't know it was capable. I didn't know that, that she had these skills. Uh, if you're Wayne Rooney, you should be very scared of your wife right now. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> she is. She has figured out a way to use the tools at her, at her disposal. <laughs> okay. And so, solve a crime. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, stories were getting leaked to, to, to The Sun, which is a big tabloid out uh, in the UK. Right. And uh, she didn't know how the stories were getting out. So what she uh, started doing. But hold on. This is all in the note. She explains all this. But this is what I love about the note. She doesn't reveal who it is until the end, and she throws a bunch of dots, like a whole bunch of ellipses. <laughs> exactly. Just to, to, to build the suspense, okay? She hit a drum this, roll on there. Is, I, think, I think this is an excerpt of her screenplay. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. This is incredible. Well, she made a film noir movie, <laughs> and at the end, Humphrey Bogart walks in and reads this note. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so she, but basically, she's trying to figure out who who is uh, leaking these stories. She blocks everyone on her Instagram except for Rebecca Vardy. Yeah, on her Finsta, she had the Finsta yeah. for the, like the real stuff for her friends. Rebecca Vardy's one of them. Blocks everybody from seeing her stories except one person pulls up a couple bootleg stories, one of which is a leak in the basement. So <laughs> she uses a leak to find a leak. <laughs> Yo, this is uh, that story makes it into the sun or one of those other tabloid ass yes. papers. She learned a little bit out of uh, out of DC. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, she was she she met up with some uh, operatives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she, but yo, she didn't just stop at one. She put a couple of them up. Exactly. And every time it made it in the paper. And there was only one person who saw that story. Exactly. And you know how Instagram, you see who sees your story. Uh-huh. You know, we all we all look. It's like, oh, when it's you like. You lurking? You lurking? Okay, all right. I got some. some these girls got some eyes on me. Okay. okay. You, you looking at the story. Also, <laughs> stop looking at all of them. You're making a hot when my wife pulls up my story. Why are these girls looking at your story? I don't go to their phones and make them look at my story. And we all know it's for the food. Okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody looking at my story. They don't know that I was a vice. President of the Modeling Club. They don't know that. <laughs> okay. They can assume from the poses. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this, this man looks like he had training. This, this was pretty incredible. You don't see stuff like this. No. Uh, and on such a also the way it's revealed. Yeah. All the whole story explaining it. You got none. You can't get out of it. It was dot 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 dot. <laughs> Rebecca Vardy's account. Yeah, dude. Doesn't even say Rebecca Vardy. Yeah. You and if you haven't gone to the actual tweet, just say it. The 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 comments themselves are are entertaining within themselves because they all gifs of just being like <gasps> yeah <You know? laughs> also uh every other faction of twitter became involved in this yes our friends who are in gay twitter our friends in black twitter everybody was like yo alexis christian could you tell us who these two people are <laughs> this seems like something we want to be involved in uh, so, ray sani was like please yes please tell me yes so uh, everybody loves some juicy gossip yeah. and, and and amongst wags it's even uh more entertaining but rec- this is better than any real housewives episode ever i, I agree uh except and I- the table flipping shouts to jersey <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's all this uh saga was missing yeah. just <laughs> just flipping a tea table yeah, over <laughs> <laughs> so, just bangled the earrings everywhere. Rebecca Vardy did respond and mm-hmm. and said that I mean she gave like a lame kind of excuse. No, you could, I caught the lie in there. What what was it? What was what was your <laughs> the part where she where she goes uh, this very week. Uh, things have already happened in my account. There's multiple times, <laughs> including this week. It's too much information. Yeah. You got yeah. caught. Yeah, yeah. They get your Dominican uncles. You know what I mean? They yeah. come home they smelling come. like a different <laughs> perfume. You know what I mean? Yeah, you so give it too much information. In fact, the car, which I told you last week, <laughs> is having problems. I had it again. Too much. Exactly. You laid yes. it on too thick. <laughs> because she she gave like uh, people have my password yeah. and I don't need any money. I'm not trying to make money. And- Why would I? I thought we were friends. Why? Did you call me? <laughs> Why did you call me? Is like basically like, yo, I gotta, I yeah. gotta stop this from hitting the internet. <laughs> it's just quite, uh, it's just quite incredible. Uh, Hilarious for, for something like this to happen. And it, it's- and then the Daily Mail caught up with her saying, arguing with Rooney, with uh, Colleen Rooney, is like this is a quote, is like arguing with a pigeon. 
You can tell it that you're right and it's wrong, but it's still going to isht in your hair. <laughs> that's <Okay>. a quote. <laughs> that, and that's from Rebecca Vardy. That's from Rebecca Vardy. Interesting. Okay. So they're all loading for bear. And all I got to say is, yo, Fubo Sports, let's beat Andy Cohen to this <laughs> show, okay? <laughs> we need to. The real housewags of England? <laughs> Yeah, because those recap shows, right? At the end of the season, oh they all God. talk, and then somebody throws a, a, a punch, <laughs> obviously, at some point. Someone's going to throw a pigeon in this one. It's going to be wild. I said, What's all this pigeon talk? I feel like it's an attack on NYCFC. <laughs> yeah, <Why? I> <laughs> or is this all just low-key marketing for the MLS playoffs? <laughs> you know what, Kali Rooney? You're a genius. Yo, <laughs> Kali. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Colleen's husband plays on DC United. United. Rebecca Vardy brings up pigeons. <laughs> so next, I guess someone's going to be caught drinking a Red Bull. <laughs> oh, if, uh, if DC United defeat Toronto FC, they'll play against NYCFC. Uh, and there you go. And there we go. Okay. And the halftime will be a boxing match between <laughs> Colleen and Rebecca. <laughs> all right. It's just a master plan. Yeah, this is all Don Garber, man. <laughs> Props to you, Don Garber. Yeah, G. Johnny G. <laughs> Honestly. Genius. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm excited about this segment because we are going to be playing uh, an interview that we did with Sean Johnson. That's right. The uh, Milkman. The, Remember that? The Milkman. Yeah, that was uh, that was the popular name in uh, his nickname in, in Chicago. But That's that di right. didn't really... Didn't really make it over here. It didn't translate. Yeah. People are like, "What's a milkman?" <laughs> sure, you know? it's just like, "Is uh, that's uh, you know, my I think that's my dad." Yeah, look you at it, the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, we, the, I feel like the last couple of weeks we've been uh, or the employed millennial. <laughs> no one knows. The, the last couple of weeks, What's NYCFC that? has been doing a lot of uh, different events in the area. Well, and, yeah, they got three weeks with nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, they, they need to fill up the time. You yeah. know, <laughs> it's like we're paying these guys. I know. My, I mean, <laughs> it might as well. I don't know paint. I don't know do something. <laughs> uh, so the, yeah, they opened a, uh, a a new pitch in Queens. Uh, that's right. At, and in Corona Park in Flushing Meadows. We were there. That was dope. That we were there. And then, but this was from uh, the, uh, the media did it did before the uh, sort of the rush to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the uh, Adidas uh, store yeah. in, in New York City, and we got to catch up. We you saw a couple uh, episodes. I think last week uh, Ben Sweat was on. That's and, right. And now we have same same uh, thing. But Sean Johnson, they're going to go play a game in Chicago during this break. That's right. Behind closed a little doors. Scrimmage. And he played in Chicago for a long time, so maybe he gets to go visit his old friend and that garbage pizza, which I think I bring up right away so okay. why don't we go to that why don't we go to this interview <laughs> that's right okay the man who knows that new york pizza is better than anything chicago's ever served <laughs> a day in their life he said this before the cameras went out and actually paulie g is a homie of mine yeah but i don't know if you know i could i could yeah. hook that up i'm not kidding he's a hey, dude. I, I knew that he's I a dear that. friend right. ladies and gentlemen the one and only sean joss <laughs> John, uh, well, you know, I think it's interesting. Did, did the nickname carry over from Chicago? The Milkman didn't, it did really, it. It it didn't did. really stick. Yeah, but it, it did with the teammates, though. So okay, okay. Like Oh, posters yeah? plastered all over the, the training room, you know? So it's like, they, they took it on, but our fans haven't yet. So I'm, I'm not sure our fans really know about it. Well, Milkman means something different here. It's usually like the guy you look more like, but your mom ain't telling you why. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be known as that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not what I'm trying to do. Right? It's a little something different here. Right, right, right. Um, you know, look, we're playing, you're playing in these big stadiums, playing in this small field at Yankee Stadium. As a goalkeeper, is that does that make sort of your positioning different? when you have like these larger fields? I don't think so. No. I think it's all the same, yeah. It's just on a smaller scale, right? Like everything's basically the same. Um, dimension's a little bit smaller, but the games play all the same, you know? So okay. for us, I think, you know, we've gotten used to it, obviously, you know, so it's our home field. So yeah, we, gotta, we gotta take advantage of it, might it, as well. It, it's been beautiful to see, I think, I think when you, when you got here from Chicago, I think a lot of people thought like, Oh, what's, what does Sean Johnson have left? And then we see you at NYCFC thriving, making it to the national team. What has been that experience uh, like for you? Just like kind of, I don't want to say being a cast off, but like being underestimated and now being on the national team. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, man, like, you know, people will think what they want to think. You know, at the end of the day, you got to be confident in your own abilities. And I knew coming here, you know, it's a big market. Like you want to have that pressure to play well every game. And then coming with, the, with this locker room, with this coaching staff, with this organization, it was an easy transition for me, you know? And 
been with the national team before, so I, like many people, you know, may or may not know. So like from 2011 until now, I've been with the national team you know, yeah, yeah. throughout. So for me, it was just getting myself in, settling down, and then getting back to where I knew I could be. So yeah, just at the regional level, man. That's what the city's all about. So you heard it here first. He don't read the comments on the internet. <laughs> he don't care about the haters. Another thing, you, you had you had uh, when you went back to Chicago. You had gone to a, a barber that you normally go to, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. And yeah, you, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what, uh, have you, I know barbers, we have relations, you have relationships with barbers, right? right. I've never called me cheating on them. <laughs> I ain't playing. Tough. 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 He called me at the laundromat. No. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Not easy. Not easy. Have, have you found someone of like equal capability out in New York? Are you, do you, do you look forward to, Playing in Chicago so that you can go back to- We need to introduce you to some Dominicans who will get that shape up right. Listen, listen, I will say that my barber here has kept me nice. Okay. But Drew has been the day one homie, right? right so right. he's the one, no matter what, if I need something like later on down the road, if I'm somewhere where I don't know, yeah. I can phone him up and be like, yo, I need you now, right? <laughs> so he's, I trust him with everything, but obviously there's some talented barbers in New York, man. So I'm, I'm always down to explore, but like you said, man, once you settle down with one, yeah. if that's you with another one, <laughs> You don't, you don't want to be there. You I had to do it. I had to do it, so he got lazy on me. Right, right. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. Sometimes I, I get lazy. Sometimes. But I lied. I'm like, it ain't what it looks like. Right, right. I'm just sitting here, bro. Yeah. I'm just chilling. I don't even know it like that. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah. now that you, you know, sort of are established as a goalkeeper that everyone knows and loves, um, certainly for NYCFC fans, uh, can't talk for the other side of the river. If you could play in any other position, you'd be like, yo, give me a shot. What, what position do you think that makes? Oh, striker. Easy. Why is it always yeah, the know. goalkeepers think they should be strikers forever? Yo, because we've been blocking goals for time. Like, yeah, like, we want some glory. Like, let, let, us, let us be the ones to like win the game, you know? You see in the do's and the don'ts, and you're like, I think I can do the do's. Right, right. Yeah. We study them all the time, so okay. like, maybe we can go out there and try it sometime, you know? Nice. All right. Well, look, you posted that you love Paulie G's pizza. Yes, yes. I'm not yes. kidding you. Do you like the wood fired one or the slice shot? I like the wood fire one. Wood fire one. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'll hook it up. Yeah. Paulie, legitimately a good friend of mine. I'll text him a photo of us. Of yeah, I don't know if you saw, last year we took Tommy McNamara out for pizza. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, maybe that could happen one day yeah, for you, man. Yeah, be dope. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. literally a pizza expert. Legitimately, right. that's yeah. why I have the logo as pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there's also a great Chicago stuff place here in case you miss. The old ways, that's place okay. called Emmett. That's okay. Okay, yeah. all right, good. Nothing wrong with it. Maybe you want to weigh yourself down. That's, that's, that's old news. That's old news. Yeah. That's old news. All right, all right well, very good. Dude, thank you so much, yeah, man. Bro. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's an honor. Yeah. Yo, his hands are massive, dog. <laughs>
that's supposed to be funny. That's a comedy show. And now our television show, which I think we've done what? This is the 11th episode? Give or take. Uh, and, yeah, 10th, I think. Someone yeah, in my ear just okay. said correct, so <laughs> I'm right about something. Uh, and what we've had to talk about racism in soccer, what, four out of the 11 at this point? Oh, that's sure. not a good ratio you guys yeah we would it's tiring we would not uh, we would rather not talk about it but in england uh, in bulgaria uh, england was playing against bulgaria in their stadium in a stadium that was um you know uh, because of previous uh racist chanting and racist racist uh, uh just incidents they had uh, a very limited amount of, of supporters uh in the stands uh but the people that were there were took that opportunity to continue their racist chants to uh, put up, uh, you know, you know, just a Nazi, uh, uh, you know, hand gestures yeah, and displays and, and yeah. booing every time a black player touched the ball. It's just absolutely insane. I mean, and these people aren't even covering their faces, the most of them. I mean, you're seeing photos of them there. They're proud. They're proud to be racist. They're proud to be disrespectful. They have signs that say respect racism. Yeah. I mean, what kind of... Those are... It's, first of all, it's an oxymoron. It's very much an oxymoron. You, know I mean? <laughs> now, you're, you are morons, but yeah. this is also yeah. an oxymoron. If some of y'all need oxy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would stop you from coming to the game uh, if you uh, oxycodone in your system. <laughs> so if you don't know what the, what the, the, the plan is to to, to handle this stuff um well it, a guy quit the the head of the romanian uh, uh the bulgarian bulgarian sorry the bulgarian much shouts to romanian <laughs> uh the head of the bulgarian uh soccer federation quit uh what's his name they, his nickname is bobby they call him bobby okay uh borislav mikhailov mikhailov you knew i was gonna mess that last part <laughs> i, don't even know I why almost didn't say bobby correct <laughs> yeah, the look the look on christian's face as i attempted to do the last name Yo, he's like well this is gonna be president fun. of bulgaria bobby digital <laughs> out here <laughs> <laughs> bong bong <laughs> Like, I like because I think you're wrong about that. <laughs> you might be making that one up. You know, RZA multifaceted, and he does not like racism. <laughs> no, man, it's just uh, the the but the plan, uh, at least for for UEFA for uh, for FIFA, is to one um, uh, announce uh, over the PA that that the, the game will be uh, basically suspended if um, if if nothing is done, if, if the if the chanting does not stop uh, after that. Yeah, the the refs are allowed to suspend the game. Yes, yes, yes. So, but there's an announcement. Uh, Basically, there's three steps. Uh, announcement made. Then uh, the second warning is the players actually step off the field and go uh, basically into the locker room until th it stops. Right. And then if it happens again, the game is completely uh, just canceled. So that Which one of those three happened here? Well, the first one did happen. Yes, they said please stop. Uh, they said please stop, and then the uh, the the I the second one it, 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 they still chanted. They still did the racist chant and the monkey noises. But the and and props to the captain of the Bulgaria team because he did go up to the the, the supporters. Uh, and told them, hey, you guys need to stop. And that was like a, a, a show of at least some courage. Uh, and, and, and you know, it, it shouldn't just be on the black players to, no. to point it out and to say that something should be done. It's it should... also a shame that a player had to be the one to go do that. Uh, sure. but It's just a shame that you have to, you know, I mean, you're a player. Like, you're not the one who should go stop the race. I mean, everyone should stop it, you know what I'm saying? But it just shouldn't be happening. The the Federation shouldn't allow this to continue. The Bulgarian team should be docked points of somehow, or they should not be allowed to play competitions for a certain period of time. This should count against them somehow. And I know it's not the player's fault, but what what else can you do? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, a, 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 it's tiring. It's tiring to I continue wish Bobby to see this. I didn't quit because he was the president, and I, as the vice president <laughs> of, all of the, the modeling, modeling club, club yes. could have gone there. I you mean, know what I mean? <laughs> and like we could have had a president to vice president <laughs> sit down. You know? Yes, you, I'm sure you could uh, inspire <laughs> inspire those racists with your your your, your when they see the terms. <laughs> And they're like, wow, his you know, grandmother was black? <laughs> wow, maybe you know we're what? wrong about these people. I've had this wrong all along. <laughs> you know what? We should all come together <laughs> and maybe learn to do some of those spins on the catwalk like my man does. <laughs> In Eastland and Timberland boots. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. All right. <laughs> we'll be back with more after this. Yeah, baby, we are back. Look, we can't solve all the world's problems, but here's one thing we can do is tell you 
without a doubt, who's going to win in the MLS playoffs? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's the uh, one thing <laughs> we, we're pretty confident with. Yeah, that we can do. Sovereign racism, a little, little bit challenging. Give us some time. <laughs> <laughs> give. I mean, we haven't even... This is only our 11th episode. Come on now. <laughs> Just, uh, give it at least 15. I was going to say, wait till the 13th. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we're really going to deep dive. <laughs> uh, but no, the MLS Cup playoffs are uh, are coming up, and they, they're starting this weekend, uh, the, the first round, and the East and Western Conference, uh, and it's it, there's there's we we talked about it briefly uh, last week, but we uh, as far as how the teams are gonna uh, I don't know even prepare like we mentioned NYCFC the teams LAFC and uh, NYCFC have that first round bye, so uh, which is a long time. It is a long time. The international bl- break plus the first round bye is, is essentially three weeks of of figuring out what to, what the I hell know. to do uh, before Start you start whittling. <laughs> <laughs> pick up some hobbies kids you know I mean? <laughs> so uh but it is interesting because last year we did this wasn't the case right where we had uh the the, the condensed schedule and then the also the condensed uh playoff structure so that it all happened between the two international breaks in, in uh, october and november right but it was also the home and away these are all single game elimination yes so everything's been condensed completely the schedule for the regular season has been condensed some some teams, I think it was Atlanta that played five games in fifteen days. Crazy, everything's been condensed. So it's, it, it begs the question: like, is now that we've gone through the regular season and we're yeah. about to go into the playoffs, is was it a better move to do this, right? Because a lot of last year we were here complaining, like, how come uh, you know th- taking this two week break before the MLS Cup final, everybody stops paying attention to it, and now that's not going to be the case. I don't think it was the complaining so much; it was the loss of revenue in the ratings. Okay, remember everyone was complaining that the games were boring, or the second leg, or the first leg was boring, the second leg was the only exciting one. So everyone should just do one game eliminations. I think with people not watching the first games, I mean, the playoffs have always been the ratings bonanza for. MLS. This is where you sort of build up those numbers. You know what I mean? Sure. You know, like if you're trying to save on, you're trying to get like a gas mileage to go up when you just take your foot off the gas going downhill. That's this. <laughs> that means you build up your number. You know what I mean? That's a very specific reference okay. that I get. <laughs> So I don't like All to right, see the point president nine. of business, Alexis Guerrero, <laughs> vice president of business modeling, Alexis. Okay, it's a thing, ma. <laughs> so, by the, the way, my mother saw me model in a fashion show more than she's seen me do stand up. <laughs> embarrassing. Which would she be more disappointed by? Who Both knows? equally, <laughs> turns out. So the uh, uh, so, but yeah, it does sort of. Now that we're in uh, the sort of the, the place we're in, I like. From my perspective, I and seeing all the complaints about how the regular season went from the players about uh, the too many games uh, in in a short schedule uh, in in that like uh, um, short amount of time, I, I I sort of side. I think I would have been fine with if we never did this, if we never did the condensed schedule and got into this place where uh, the, the, there is this long break in between. You know what I mean? Adding more playoff teams. I, I think I. You sound like a dad leaving a family. I'm fi- <laughs> like, I would have been fine. I didn't want the kids. So. <laughs> I would have been fine with it the way it was before. But there I, was I, everyone was worried about injuries. I, we haven't seen that many big injuries. It seems like most of the big name players are going to be back. Even Alejandro Bedoya is probably going to be back for the start of the season, for uh, the start of the postseason. So, I mean, what's the big deal? That was everyone's complaint. I actually like when things finish quicker, and I know that sounds hilarious coming from a guy who does a podcast <laughs> and a television show that lasts a long time. I get it. I get it. Um, so the, the the first round in the, uh, the Eastern Conference, uh, Toronto against DC United, and this the, uh, one of these teams are going to be playing NYCFC. And it's at Toronto. Who would you rather see? Play NYCFC. Play again, NYCFC. I'm going to have to say DC United. I think DC United is a Because NYCFC struggling. tends to have their number, too. Yeah, and they play uh, They play them pretty well uh, at home. That's my, my, my best guess. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but, but and, uh, Philadelphia against the New York Red Bulls is, I, I think, the, probably the more unpredictable game. Also going to be super fun to watch. It's super, very, fun, very fun to watch. Anyway, the, uh, the, the next one, Atlanta against New England. Uh, so far, I'm saying Toronto wins. I think Philly wins. And I think Atlanta wins. Yeah, let's let's fill out the bracket completely. Who do we so? Uh, you Toronto, th- Philly, Atlanta. Okay, get through. All right. So Toronto versus NYCFC. NYCFC wins. They go to the Eastern Conference Final against whom? Against Atlanta. Okay. 
Uh, but I, I would love to see it be against the Rebels. I think that game would be wild. That would be insane. I don't think the Rebels get out of the first. And it's not because I don't like the Rebels or anything. I just think Chris Armas hasn't settled yet. And I don't know who the Sims start. Who start? Who starts there? You know what I mean? There's a bunch of players that are sort of moving around. Uh, I don't. There's nothing. Doesn't seem anything settled there. Where yeah. I think uh, a team like Philadelphia comes in knowing what their best options are. Okay. You know? uh, I I think. Out of all the out of all the away teams uh, in the Eastern Conference, I think the Red Bulls have the best chance. The Red Bulls play the best on the road out of anybody uh, in the to league. To get I think. through, so um, I, I'm in gonna, these types of games. I'm gonna say. You think Kaku starts? You think they start Kaku? Yes, I do. Uh, I think okay. uh, I think Toronto. Um, I th- I think I think Philly will get through. I think Philly will get through, and Atlanta, and then uh, so it'll be. So we're the same. So NY. So Atlanta versus uh, Philly. Yeah. Who do you think wins there? Um, and this will be in Atlanta. I think Atlanta wins this. Yeah, at home. At this point, you got to start favoring the home team. So it's Atlanta versus NYCFC in New York. In New York, which you got to give that to NYCFC. I Atlanta so. can't play on a small pitch. All on most likely City Field, as you may have, if you're watching the uh, American League Championship Series, the Yankees. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they tied one-one yeah. with Houston. Uh, so this is. I know this is a soccer show, but we're paying attention to the baseball results. Yeah. Uh, because in order to play the game, <laughs> to, to determine where the game is going to be played, whether it's Yankee Stadium or City Field. So. Atlanta versus New York. I give it to New York. Yeah. So New York moves on to the final. To the finals. Western so Conference. LAFC versus who do you think? Minnesota or LA Galaxy? I think I think LA Galaxy are going to I think through. Minnesota are going to go. Okay. I'll go with yours. Let's go Galaxy. Salt Lake versus Portland. I think Salt Lake. Salt is Lake moves on. Here. I think Portland moves on. So so far we have an opposite bracket. Seattle versus Dallas. I, I th- I'm gonna have to say Seattle. I right, love Dallas, too. but I think all right. Seattle so I think Seattle. One. I think Portland, and I don't care what you say. So Portland versus Seattle. <laughs> That's a great. Game. That'll be a great game. That's a great game. It's gonna be at <laughs> Seattle. Yes. That's pretty great. So who do you think wins? Uh, at, oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Um, out of the two. Seattle well, you know, season. I'm gonna have to say Seattle because yeah. of Brian Fernandez. I don't think it will be playing. I think so as well. Yeah. Uh, so Galaxy versus LAFC, wild game. This, I mean, this is everybody wants to see this. This is wild. And we might go to this. I, I based on results, I, I'm gonna have to say the Galaxy. I don't think the LAFC can defeat Zlatan. All right, so that means it's Galaxy versus Seattle in the, the Western Conference Final. Yeah. Who do you think wins out of that? Uh, if that is in, that's going to be in Seattle, I'm going to say Seattle. All right, so it's Seattle versus NYCFC, NYCFC at Red Bull Arena <laughs> <laughs> for MLS Cup. <laughs> Who do you think wins that? Um, uh, Seattle, NYCFC uh, in, New- in New York or New Jersey. It's got to be NYCFC. I, yeah, so I'm going to wow. have to say NYCFC. All right, I have a slightly different bracket. I don't think LAFC gets bumped out. I think they beat Galaxy, but it would be wild to watch <laughs> NYCFC win their first MLS Cup in Red Bull Arena. <laughs> Heads would explode. A rebel will start to fight for another stadium. They want another stadium. I don't want anything with this stadium. Back to MetLife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We're the Metro Stars again. Yeah. again. <laughs> Bring the whole thing down. We're only drinking Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Timmy Howard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so make sure you tune in to see the Soccer World Cup on Football Sports Network, the excitement of a six-a-side football and a 40-team global tournament. I've been watching uh, some of these games, actually. Super, it's super wild. entertaining uh, uh, six-a-side. So the action continues all week long, leading up to the finals this weekend right here on Fubo Sports Network. So... Uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching the show today. Thanks again for listening. We appreciate this you. It's been amazing. This has been a fun time. Uh, make sure you tune in on Thursday because we're going to have a New York Cosmos player. Albanian Han- national team player. Hansi Agoli oh, uh, yeah, on baby. the show. So that's going to be uh, super, super cool. So make sure you tune into that. So uh, with that said, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. And together, what are we? The, the coolest! coolest!